Here's our last example of a percent yield question. Um, if sufficient mass of zinc metal combines with 58 grams of HCl, what is the theoretical yield of ZnCl2? What is the actual yield in grams if the percent yield is 87%? Now, the question is already asking you what is the theoretical yield, which means we need to do a calculation. Um, the theoretical yield just basically means let's take, let's find the mass of product. Um, the, there's a given value here, 58 grams of HCl, and because you recognize HCl in the equation as being a reactant, we can include this number in an actual or, or a theoretical yield because yield means product. So we have to do a calculation to proceed with our percent yield formula. Um, here is a typical GWR problem. We need to use our balanced chemical equation in order to do a mole to mole ratio. We see HCl versus ZnCl2, so here's HCl, here's ZnCl2, and we can write a multiple ratio using those coefficients. And then we see grams twice. I see grams next to HCl, I see grams next to ZnCl2, so we're going to calculate two molar masses. Here's the molar mass for HCl. This calculation is... Um, calculated from the numbers off of the periodic table. So grab a periodic table, grab a calculator. You are calculating hydrogen's mass, which is 1.008 plus 35.453 for chlorine. And that's how we get 36.461 grams. We're also calculating the molar mass for zinc chloride. And we're doing the same process using our periodic tables, adding up the mass for zinc to Chlorine's mass times 2. That's how we get 136.286. There are no additional relationships that we need, so we start the problem with a given over 1. I'm just going to go through this a little bit faster because at this point we should know how to cancel our units diagonally. So let's just plug in all our numbers here in our dimensional analysis problem. And I'm going to tell you how you can type this into your calculator. This time I'm going to tell you how to multiply all the numbers in the top and divide by all the numbers in the bottom. And I always skip the ones because mathematically if you multiply or divide by one, it doesn't change your answer. So save yourself the time. We're going to do 58 times 136.286 divided by 36.461 divided by 2 and we get a theoretical yield of 108 grams of zinc chloride. Now zinc chloride is a product, so this is a proper theoretical yield. It's for a product. Yield means product. As we continue on with the problem, we can plug in any numbers that we have from our percent yield um, question. The, the question already told us that there's a percent yield of 87%. We just calculated the theoretical yield, and now we need to calculate the actual yield, meaning how much did this person get in the experiment? They were supposed to get 108 um, grams. The percent yield was cal reported as 87%. How can we calculate the actual? So this is just an algebra problem up to this point. If you know your algebra, if you know how to rearrange your equations, then you can solve for the actual pretty easily. I'm going to go ahead and hit pause and try to do this, but if you're ready for it, let me just tell you. Algebraically, what you're going to do is you're going to divide both sides by 100 because you can see the left side where the x is, the actual, is being multiplied, so you always do the opposite. Divide both sides by 100, and to isolate the actual yield, you're going to multiply both sides by 108. And when you do that, you should get 94 grams as our final answer. This is our actual yield. This is how much was actually recovered from the experiment.